Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. When I was a kid, there was a saying that went something like this, find a penny, pick it up, and all day you'll have good luck. Now, I don't know the exact origins of this saying. It's been around for centuries in various forms, and in the UK there was a version of it that also included if you don't pick up the penny or the pence or the pen, you let it lie, then you have bad luck all day. And so it was it was a superstition, and it was partially based in a poverty mentality, but there is something important here. In a lot of traditions that are, you know, superstitions, they're obviously not real. There sometimes is an underlying truth being conveyed, even though the overall principle is, a, is an error, sometimes there's a truth involved. And so when I was a kid, I would pick up pennies, you know, and you say this little saying is cute, you grow up a little bit, you get six or seven years old, and you're, you're not doing that anymore. And then as an adult, you especially, you're not picking up pennies. Now, whatever country you're in, pennies are lowest denomination, and they, they keep talking about just getting rid of penny altogether as far as an actual production of a coin because it has so little value. So if you pick up a penny, it's not helping your net worth at all. You can't buy anything at all with it. The most you could do is gather up hundreds of them and then you can buy a little something. So obviously there's nothing financially beneficial to picking up a penny, but is there? Now I'm not talking about the superstition part of it, forget that, that's nonsense. But there's something years ago I started doing because I realized something was wrong in my heart towards money. You know, as a Christian, you get inundated with this idea that, well, the love of money is the root of all evil. And so it's essentially you get told to hate money, which is not what that verse is talking about. That's talking about people committing the sin of avarice, the love of money, this greed and this desire, and you'll do anything for money and you'll put money above whatever. But it doesn't mean you then turn around and shun money. But that's kind of the mentality that we get kind of pushed into. Are you getting this weird cognitive dissonance where you, in one hand, you believe money's bad and wrong and evil? which of course is not what it says, it says a love of money. But on the other hand, you know you need it each day, and so you go to work. And you work somewhere you don't even like working because of money, which probably is more akin to the love of money than anything because you're doing something you absolutely detest simply for money. What could be more the definition of loving money than that? But that's a different topic. But. You can respect money and honor it and have dignity toward it like you would any tool because that's really truly what it is. It's an energetic tool that you use to buy things, you use in commerce, you use in buying services and it's valuable and it's how we trade. And so one of the things I realized as an adult was that I wasn't valuing money properly. I'm not talking about putting it on a pedestal. Obviously you don't do that but I was going the opposite direction and being disrespectful towards it. I wouldn't take a hammer that I used to hammer a nail and just throw it out in my yard and leave it out there and let it rust and deteriorate and treat it like trash. I respect it, I don't love the, the hammer, I don't worship it, but I respectfully put it up where it belongs so it is maintained and retains its value and its usefulness. And yet with money, I've seen people and unfortunately, I've done this myself as a kid. Just throw, oh, it's pennies, and just throw it down the ground. Literally having no respect for money and treating it like trash. And so what I started doing as a way of disciplining myself and humbling myself was picking up pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, whatever it is on the ground. It doesn't matter how low. If it's a penny, I'll pick it up. And it's obviously not helping my financial situation. It's not... Well, that one penny was just what I needed to get that new Rolls Royce, you know, that kind of nonsense. It, it's just a penny. But it, there's a discipline about this, and there's an a honor toward God about this. To say, you know what, God, thank you for this penny. And Jesus had a very important saying about, not about picking up pennies, obviously, but just about being faithful. If you're faithful in little, you'll be rewarded with much. Now, in Luke 16:10. In the context of mammon, the mammon of unrighteousness Jesus talks about, he says this, He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. 
and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Now when it comes to money, what is the least? Now in the United States, the least is a penny. Whatever it may be for your country, just put that in the same. If you're not faithful in that, there's a penny in the ground. You're walking right past it. You see it. And you're not thankful for it because it's only a penny. And you're not faithful in it in that just because it's little. How can you be rewarded with much? How can you be trusted with much? And in some of the parables Jesus talked about that the, the ruler giving his servant much and saying because you've been faithful in very little have authority over 10 cities or have authority over much and see this is one of the things with finances and being blessed of God is you should be always ever grateful and I may talk about this in other videos later but being grateful for these tiny things which seem insignificant and I'm not talking about you go rent a billboard to say yay I found a penny the point is it's one an act of discipline it's an act of worship for God thankfulness for the abundance of his creation and it's honoring that tool that we use in our commerce each and every day you're not loving money you're not kissing the penny when you find it you're not setting up a shrine for it it's just a way you pick it up and say wow thank you God thank you for this blessing thank you that money is coming to me in avalanches of abundance thank you for this blessing and it's only a penny, but you're faithful in that. You're faithful in the little, and you could be trusted in big things. Because what happens is, as people start progressing in wealth and becoming more and more successful, they stop being faithful in little things. And where at one time they would have picked up a penny, now they don't. And like I said, we're not talking about adding to your net worth by picking up a penny. It has nothing to do with that. It's not even the financial aspect of it, because obviously a penny doesn't help you at all financially. It's the honoring God. It's the not passing up opportunities that are before you each day, even if they're the, literally the smallest opportunity that possibly exists. One penny. Financially speaking, that is the smallest opportunity you could ever get in a day. But you're faithful in that. You take that opportunity. And it opens up. You know, it's interesting. There was a saying literally hundreds of years ago that he who will not stoop for a pence or a penny will never be worth a pound or a dollar. The idea was that if you're not faithful in these little things, you're not worthy of, of big things and you won't do the right things to get you to the point of the big things. This is very much an act of discipline and an act of worship for God, just thankful for his abundant universe. This is something you need to start incorporating each and every day. And yes, like with me, like I said, it, it was a humbling process because it looks stupid to pick up a penny off the ground. What are you doing? What do you need a penny for? Are you that desperate? You know, it, but who cares what people think about you? You know you're not doing it for a penny, that you need a penny somehow is going to help you financially. You're doing it as one, because you're a disciplined person. Two, you're worshiping God. You're thanking God for the abundance that he puts before you each and every day. And three, you're taking every opportunity, even the smallest, tiniest opportunity, you take it because you're faithful in little. If you'll do this and start doing this, you will start to see your financial picture improve. You'll start to see things expand and more and more opportunities, way bigger opportunities than a penny, will start unfolding before you. Now, it's partially your reticular activating system starting to look for more opportunities, but you'll also have that spiritual the metaphysical aspect of the, the universe and God and his angels and all these things working together to bring you who are a faithful person, somebody who can be trusted, somebody who is not known for passing up opportunities. They'll take even the smallest opportunity, even a penny on the ground. That person can be trusted with much and God will move the universe and all his creation together to bring about the best for you because you can be trusted in that. Now, what do you do with all the pennies you find and the quarters and nickels and whatever you find? You could just donate them. It doesn't matter. It's not about keeping the money for wealth. This isn't about expanding your wealth by picking up pennies one penny at a time. It's about being faithful. It's about being thankful to God, grateful for his creation and the abundance that you're allowed to even live, that you have the gift of life and that you're presented with opportunities even as small as a penny. And what a glorious thing it is. 
My friend, I hope you will take up this opportunity to do this, to try this out. Put this into action, see what happens. Now make sure to leave a comment below Let me know if you're going to try this out or if you've already been doing this, what results you've had. And if you just start trying it out from watching this video, let me know what your results are. Let me know if you start seeing more opportunities and more finances come your way as a result of this diligent practice of disciplining yourself, glorifying God, honoring God, and being grateful to God for even the little in your life. I'd also suggest that as you renew your mind, a great way to do this is get my book, 600 Wealth, Prosperity, and Abundance Affirmations. It will absolutely be a blessing for you and help you move from little to much. Also, I suggest you get my book, You May Be Broke, But You Deserve to Be Rich, because there's many issues dealt with in there that as you learn them and deal with them and better yourself, you'll see your financial picture change as well. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.